U.S. Navy specific awards and decorations. This information can be found in SEC NAVM 1650.1. Navy Basic Military Training Honor Graduate Ribbon. Criteria and Eligibility. Awarded to Initial Accession. Enlisted Personnel of the U.S. Navy who are designated as Honor. Graduates. Recruit Training Command maintains the selection. Criteria. Based upon demonstrated superior performance. Throughout basic military training in the areas of academics. Physical readiness, recruit leadership, and commitment to Navy. Core values. No more than 3% of each weekly training. Group may be designated as honor graduates. Navy ceremonial duty ribbon. Criteria and eligibility. Military personnel assigned to the Navy ceremonial. Guard in Washington, D.C., on 1 May 2001 or later. A. Personnel must complete a successful tour of at least two, two years duration including a minimum of 18 months. Consecutive or non-consecutive in a drilling status. 2. Military personnel assigned to USS Constitution from 1 May 2001 or later. A. Personnel must complete a successful tour of at least two years on board USS Constitution and all required. Qualifications. Navy Accession Training Service Ribbon. Criteria and Eligibility. Awarded to officers and enlisted personnel of the U.S. Navy who meet the following. Criteria. 1. Successfully completed the prescribed tour of duty. At one of the following commands. A. Naval Service Training Command, NSTC. B. Recruit Training Command. C. Officer Training Command. D. Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps Units. E. U.S. Naval Academy, USNA, or F. U.S. Naval Academy Preparatory School. 2. Completed the tour on or after 1 October 1995. 3. Maintained outstanding personal standards without any disciplinary incidents throughout the tour. Navy Accession Training Service Ribbon. Criteria and Eligibility. 1. Awarded to officers and enlisted personnel of the Navy and Navy Reserve, assigned to the following activities. A. Navy Recruiting Command, Millington, TN. B. Navy Recruiting Regions. C. Navy Recruiting Districts. D. Navy Recruiting Orientation Unit, Pensacola, Florida. E. National Training Team. F. Navy Recruiting Quality Assurance Team, Great Lakes, IL. G. Reserve Recruiting Support Units Navy Recruiting. Command Liaison Team, Federal Records Center, Street. Lewis, Mo. H. Navy Recruiting Youth Program Field. Representatives. I. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, Blue. Angels. J. Navy Parachute Team, Leap Frogs. K. Director, Candidate Guidance Office, U.S. Naval. Academy. And. L. Information Officer Program. Awarded to Career Force Recruiters, CRF, and. Canvasser Recruiters, CANREC, at the recommendation of their CO. Or OIC, upon completion of a successful tour of duty in. Recruiting. CRF personnel, campus liaison officers, and recruiting district assistance council members are eligible for the RS upon completion of three consecutive years of recruiting duty. Reserve CANREC and ADSW recruiting personnel are eligible for the NRSR after completion of three consecutive years of combined recruiting duty, provided no break in service of more than 60 days occurs during the period. Three successful tour. Completing the prescribed tour of duty as outlined above, with the exception that Navy Reserve, CANREC and ADSW personnel may combine consecutive recruiting periods of either recruiting program, provided no break-in service exceeding 60 days occurs during the three-year period. Navy Arctic Service Ribbon. Award Criteria and Eligibility Requirements. Awarded to officers and enlisted personnel of the Navy and Marine Corps, or civilians, including resident aliens of the U.S., who complete 28 days. Consecutive or non-consecutive, in the geographic AOE, which is the land, sea, and airspace above the Arctic Circle. One, for personnel working at remote ice camps, and divers working under the ice, each day of duty counts as two days toward Nasser eligibility. However, Marine Corps personnel undergoing annual cold weather training above the Arctic Circle. Do not qualify for the two-for-one credit. Two, no more than one day's credit is allowed for flights in and or out of the AOE during any 24-hour period. Navy and Marine Corps Overseas Service Ribbon. 
Criteria and Eligibility Award Criteria and Eligibility Requirements 1. Awarded to officers and enlisted personnel of the Navy and Marine Corps, and the reserve components thereof, in recognition of sustained overseas service meeting the criteria in the following sections. 2. Overseas means outside the U.S. For purposes of the OSR, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico are not considered overseas. ADAC, Simia, and Kodiak are the only duty stations in Alaska that are eligible for the OSR. 3. The Navy and Marine Corps have distinct criteria for the OSR. Navy personnel assigned to Marine Corps commands follow Marine Corps policy and vice versa. Navy criteria. Active duty requirements. 12 months of cumulative service, consecutive or non-consecutive, at an overseas duty station. Up to 14 days may be waived by the OSR. Awarding authority in order to allow deserved awards when tours are cut short through no fault of the service member. Reserve personnel. 30 consecutive days or 45. Cumulative non-consecutive days of service at overseas duty stations, including ships homeported overseas, regardless of the type of orders the member is serving under. Note. Effective. The 11th of September 2001, Navy reservists may earn their initial award of the OSR under these reserve service requirements. For any subsequent award of the OSR, they must fulfill the active duty personnel requirements in a above. Combat Action Ribbon. Criteria. Awarded to members of the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard when the Coast Guard, or units thereof, operate under the control of the Navy, in grade 06 and below. 2. The principal eligibility criterion is that the individual must have rendered satisfactory performance under enemy fire while actively participating in a ground or surface combat engagement. Navy, E, ribbon. Criteria and eligibility. Eligibility criteria. This ribbon denotes the wearer was on permanent duty aboard a ship or in a squadron that won a battle efficiency competition after 1 July 1974. Eligibility is restricted to members of the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps, subject to the following limitations. Navy personnel permanently attached to and serving with sighted ships and units during the competitive cycle for which the award was given, or any part thereof, are entitled to wear the NA. All selected reserve personnel permanently attached to and serving with the Mobilization Augmentation Navy Reserve units during the competitive cycle for which the award was given, or any part thereof, are entitled to the award provided. The individuals concerned performed active duty for training aboard the unit during that competitive cycle. Reservists performing active duty for training aboard units awarded the E, but who are not members of the dedicated reserve units are not eligible. Members of the dedicated reserve units who did not perform active duty for training aboard during the competitive cycle are also not eligible for the award. Meritorious Unit Commendation Criteria Awarded to any ship, Marine Regiment, Naval Construction Battalion, a Navy Air Wing or Marine Air Group, or any other unit of the Navy or Marine Corps that has distinguished itself, under combat or non-combat conditions, by either valorous or meritorious achievement that renders the unit outstanding compared to other units performing similar service, but not sufficient to justify award of the Navy unit commendation. 1. To justify this award, the unit must have performed service of a character comparable to that which would merit award to an individual of the Bronze Star Medal or achievement of like caliber. In a non-combat situation, meritorious service medal to an individual. Normal. Performance of duty or participation in a large number of combat missions, does not in itself justify the award. 2. Care must be taken to avoid award for the performance of normal duty, or citation of large units for the actions of one or more of their component parts. Navy Unit Commendation. Criteria. 1. Awarded to any ship, aircraft, detachment or other unit of the Navy or Marine Corps that has a. Distinguished itself by outstanding heroism in action against the enemy, but not sufficiently to merit the presidential unit commendation. Or, b. Distinguished itself by extremely meritorious service not involving combat, but in support of military operations, such as to render the unit outstanding compared to similar units performing similar service. 2. To justify the Navy unit commendation, the unit must have performed service acting as a team of a character comparable to that which 
would merit the award to an individual of the Silver Star for Heroism, or the Legion of Merit for Meritorious Achievement. 3. Normal performance of duty under the ordinary hazards of war, or participation in extended periods of combat. Duty or in a large number of combat missions, does not in itself justify the award. 4. Care must be taken to avoid award for the performance of normal duty, or citation of large units for the actions of one or more of their component parts. Presidential unit citation. Criteria. Awarded as public evidence of deserved honor and distinction to any ship, aircraft, naval unit, or any marine. Corps aircraft detachment or higher unit, for outstanding performance in combat with the enemy. 1. The intent of the presidential unit citation is to recognize specific acts of heroism on the part of the unit acting as a team. 2. The unit must have distinguished itself by extraordinary heroism in action with the enemy, and exhibited gallantry and determination in overcoming such difficult and hazardous conditions so as to render itself outstanding compared to similar units participating in the same or similar engagements. 3. Performance of duty in carrying out a mission under ordinary hazards of war, or participation in extended periods of combat duty, or in a large number of combat missions does not in itself justify the award. 4. To justify this award, the unit must have clearly rendered itself conspicuous by action of a character comparable to that which would merit award of the Navy Cross to an individual. 5. The presidential unit citation will normally only be awarded to units that have participated in a single combat action or successive actions covering relatively brief time spans. It is not reasonable to presume entire units could sustain Navy Cross level of heroism for an extended period of time except under the most unusual circumstances. 6. Care must be taken to avoid awards for the performance of normal duty, or citation of large units for the actions of one or more of their component parts. Navy Good Conduct Medal. Criteria and eligibility. The CNO determines the specific criteria for the NGCM. Service members must meet the requirements for period of service, conduct, and performance. Period of service required. On or after 1 January. 1996. Any three years of continuous active or reserve service as an enlisted person in the Navy or Navy Reserve. Conduct required. Within the required 3-3 year period of continuous active service, the individual must have had no convictions by court-martial, no NJP, no lost time by reason of sickness misconduct, and no civil convictions for offenses involving moral turpitude. Performance marks required. Exceptions to the requirements in 1, 2, and 3. Above. On or after 17 May 1974, for the first award only, the NGCM may be awarded in the following cases, provided conduct and performance marks requirements are met. Limitations. When the above requirements have been met, but it is evident the individual is not deserving of the NGCM due to a repeated record of valid letters of indebtedness or other acts which are not in keeping with the high standards required of all Navy personnel, the CO will make an appropriate Recommendation to CNO, DNS 35, stating the reasons for withholding the award. Navy Expeditionary Medal. Criteria and eligibility. Awarded to U.S. Navy service members who have actually landed on foreign territory and engaged in operations against armed opposition, or operated under circumstances deemed to merit special recognition, and for which no other campaign, expeditionary, or service medal was authorized. Only personnel attached to one of the approved ships, or units during the eligibility period, and who actually participated in the given operation, are eligible for the NEM. This includes personnel attached to a squadron or unit embarked in a ship during the eligible period for that ship. In cases where Marines assigned to Navy units are authorized the NEM the Marines will wear the MCEM in lieu of the NEM. Conversely, for Navy personnel that are assigned to units of the Marine Corps operating forces that have been awarded the MCEM, Navy personnel will wear the NEM in lieu of the MCEM. Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, NAM. Criteria and eligibility requirements. The NAM is a multi-purpose decoration that may only be awarded to members of the armed forces in paygrades 04 and below. The award may be authorized for specific achievement, i.e., as an impact award, or for sustained meritorious service. 
the performance shall be of such merit as to warrant more tangible recognition than is possible by a fitness report or performance evaluation, but which does not justify a Navy and Marine Corps commendation medal. Professional achievement that merits the award must a clearly exceed that which is normally required or expected, considering the individual's grade or rate, training, and experience, and b be an important contribution of benefit to the United States and the Naval Service. 2. Leadership achievement that merits the award must a. Be noteworthy. b. Be sustained so as to demonstrate a high state of development or, if for a specific achievement, be of such merit as to earn singular recognition for the acts, and c. Reflect most creditably on the efforts of the individual toward the accomplishment of the unit mission. 3. The NOM shall not be awarded in recognition of any act of valor or non-combat heroism. Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal NC. Criteria and Eligibility Requirements. The Navy Commendation is a multi-purpose decoration that may be awarded to any person who, while serving in any capacity with the Navy or Marine Corps, distinguishes himself or herself by heroic or meritorious achievement or service. To merit this award, the acts or services must be accomplished or performed in a manner above that normally expected, and sufficient to distinguish the individual above those performing similar services. The Navy commendation may be awarded in recognition of acts of valor that do not justify the Bronze Star Medal with V, or the Air Medal with V, when aerial flight is involved. When the Navy commendation is awarded for valor, the V device shall be authorized. Acts of non-combat heroism that do not justify the Navy and Marine Corps Medal, or the Air Medal if aerial flight is involved. Meritorious achievement or service under combat. Conditions. A single achievement or a period of service worthy of special recognition, but not to the degree required for the Bronze Star Medal, or the Air Medal with C. Device when aerial flight is involved. When the Navy commendation is awarded under this circumstance, the C. Device shall be authorized. Meritorious achievement or service not under combat. Conditions. A single achievement or a period of service worthy of special recognition, but not justifying the Meritorious Service Medal, or the Air Medal when combat is not involved. If the Navy commendation is awarded for specific achievement, i.e., an impact award, and the achievement had direct but remote impact on combat operations, the R device may be authorized. Navy and Marine Corps Medal. Criteria and eligibility requirements. 1. Awarded to any person who, while serving in any capacity with the Navy or Marine Corps, distinguishes himself or herself by heroism not involving actual conflict with the enemy. Although many past awards were for heroism involving lifesaving, the Navy and Marine Corps Medal is not solely a lifesaving medal. It may be awarded for any heroic act not involving direct conflict with the enemy. However, for acts of lifesaving, or attempted lifesaving, the action must have been performed at the risk of one's own life. 2. Navy Reserve or Marine Corps Reserve personnel involved in lifesaving or attempted lifesaving incidents may be considered for the Navy and Marine Corps Medal even when they were in an inactive status. At the time of the Heroic Act. 3. The Navy and Marine Corps Medal may be awarded for heroic acts that occur in a combat zone but not in a direct engagement with the enemy. 4. Whether the Navy and Marine Corps Medal is appropriate hinges on the level of personal risk experienced by the awardee. It must be clearly established that performance of the act placed the awardee in life-threatening danger. Navy Distinguished Service Medal. Criteria and Eligibility Requirements. 1. Awarded to any person who, while serving in any capacity with the Navy or Marine Corps, distinguishes himself or herself by exceptionally meritorious service to the United States in a duty of great responsibility. To justify this decoration, an exceptional performance of duty is required, clearly above that normally expected, which has contributed materially to the success of a major command or project. b. In general, Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to those officers in principal commands at sea or in the field whose service is such as to justify the award. Historically, principal commands have been those such as numbered fleets, major task forces, Marine Corps divisions or air wings, and Marine Corps amphibious, or expeditionary task forces larger than a division. However, this does not preclude award of the Distinguished Service Medal to any individual whose service is so exceptional as to meet the high standards of this 
medal, if there is any doubt as to the degree of merit or level of responsibility involved, the Legion of Merit or Meritorious Service Medal are more appropriate awards. C. By long-standing custom and practice, the Distinguished Service Medal is not awarded in recognition of acts of heroism. 2. The combat conditions, C. Device may be authorized. If during the period the recipient was exposed to hostile action, or at significant risk of such exposure. Navy Cross. Criteria and eligibility requirements. 1. Awarded to any person who, while serving in any capacity with the Navy or Marine Corps, distinguishes himself or herself by extraordinary heroism that does not justify award of the Medal of Honor. a. While engaged in an action against an enemy of the United States, or b. While engaged in military operations involving conflict with an opposing foreign force, or c. While serving with friendly foreign forces engaged in an armed conflict against an opposing armed force, in which the United States is not a belligerent party. 2. To merit this decoration, the act must be performed in the presence of great danger and must render the individual conspicuous among his or her comrades. The Navy Cross is awarded for a singular act of valor, and cannot be justified by an accumulation of minor acts of heroism. 3. Because award of the Navy Cross is by law credit for extraordinary heroism in the line of duty, the criteria for extraordinary heroism must also be met.